Now we have an even bigger number. 18,002 take away 9,546. Now this top number is bigger than the bottom number, so I know that my, my subtraction sentence is set up the right way because you always start the biggest number. But when you look at the individual digits in the ones, tens, hundreds, and even thousands place, you will see that this number has digits that are higher than the number on the top. So we might have to regroup a couple of times. And if you see, we have a couple of zeros we might have to regroup across. So first, two take away six. I can't do two take away six. But look, I can't regroup from my tens. I can't even regroup from my hundreds. I have to go all the way over to the thousands to regroup. So instead of eight thousands, I'm going to have seven thousands. And a thousand is just ten groups of one hundred. So instead of zero one hundreds, I now have ten groups of one hundred. And then I can regroup over to my tens. So I'm going to cross this out. Instead of ten hundreds, I now have nine hundred. And instead of, and then when I move that over, instead of zero tens, I now have ten tens. And I'm still not done because I need to get this ones place number bigger on the top than the bottom. So instead of instead of ten tens, I now have nine groups of ten. And instead of two ones, since I moved over a ten, I now have twelve ones. That is a lot of regrouping. So 12 take away 6 is just 6. 9 take away 4 is 5. 9 take away 5 is 4. But 7 take away 9, can I do that? Yeah. Not quite. So what I need to do, move my 10,000s, which is a 0, and instead of my 7,000 left, I now have 17,000 left. What's 17 take away 9? It is 8. So I had to regroup 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 different times. Okay, so it is a long process when you have a lot of zeros. Okay, but the answer is 8,000. 456.